these are almost fiddle string tight and I still got one cam that I can roll over and there's no bungees on that yet. You know, the number one thing is just for me, the way that I put the bungee on there and that way I already start with a tight, tight chain. For the most part, all the slack stays, uh, or it stays tight as you go around. And then, you know, one, two, three is where I'm at on the inside. It's just right there. It's right there. When you're frozen and you're cold and you're wet, I mean, it's right there and you're like, ah, finally. But if you can just take your tool, I mean, there's no struggle. You know, it's a much easier process. Like I said, that's what, that's what makes people do this. Oh, I can get into this one, no problem. Okay, and then I, I can hand tighten my cams like this. And by the time I get around, the only one I'm gonna be able to use the tool on or need to use the tool on is this one here. Okay, and they say, oh, that's tight, but it's not gonna be tight. As soon as you start moving this machine, um, you'll have bungees on here. But the difference in how tight I got it with this, you know, that's, that's a two inch difference, inch and three quarter difference. That's a lot to tighten that chain up. And that's gonna save this chain. It's gonna save this tire. And I'm also not going to lose this chain or the likelihood of me losing this chain has gone down about 80%, you know? And if I, if I can run tight chains, I can run, I've run these chains for three years. If you run loose chains, you go through a set a year, maybe, maybe even more than that. It's just the way that they grind into the, into the road. So 